This time of year we go looking for humpback whales off the West Clare coastline. They push further north as the summer progresses. We were at sea for about six hours searching for whales in, in good sea conditions and there was nothing. There was hardly a seabird and totally unexpectedly um, we encountered a basking shark which is rare this time of year, especially on the surface. One of our colleagues, Dixie, had been seeing sharks from the cliffs uh, through his telescope and seeing the odd breach, uh, but not seeing any sharks on the surface. So we were kind of wondering, you know, what's going on there? Typically we see basking sharks um, in our coastal waters in the spring, that, that, that's first spring bloom of the year, and they're feeding. And as the spring progresses, they push further north. So we haven't really seen basking sharks since April or May uh, off West Clare. There are the occasional sightings through the autumn and winter, but um, that, that's kind of rare. Satellite telemetry has shown they are actually in Irish waters all year round, but they're not on the surface. And when they're not on the surface, you can't really see them and you can't really access them. So it's just a kind of rare, unusual sighting and you go, sure, that's grand. So we saw uh, a single shark on the surface and then another shark, uh, close. And then we realized actually there's lots of little black little pointy bits just sticking out the, the water and there were four or five sharks in a tight cluster which isn't how they behave you know when they're feeding as soon as we saw this cluster it dawned on us that this is this unusual rarely seen courtship behavior and we immediately went for the drone while we were flying the drone actually i was shouting to the team come on get slime sampling as well and they'd seen me doing it so they kind of were familiar and uh, you know when you have a good team they jump to it and uh, go into science mode straight away. Immediately you just get an amazing perspective um, and as we drifted the sharks were completely undisturbed by the boat and then started circling around the boat. So from the air you can see not just the sharks on the surface but you can see the sharks under the surface which are kind of of course you can't see from the boat and um, and how they're interacting with each other and you just see them circling around and around it's almost like a wall of shark from the surface going down who knows how deep we counted maximum nine sharks in, in most of the ones we filmed but maybe there was a lot more um, and you you realize immediately they're not feeding you know these are not feeding aggregations this is something else something special it's a very methodical, orchestrated, choreographed behavior. Even when the pattern is broken up and it seems like the sharks are moving around randomly, um, if you just sit and watch from a distance, they just slowly fall back into that beautiful um, choreography. It's almost as though they're doing synchronized swimming. I see a shark the first thing I want to do is slime it get a sample a DNA sample and certainly when they're feeding you're, you're in a hurry because you don't know how long they're going to be on the surface and, and accessible to, to sample with a long pole we we were really successful this spring off West Clare we got over 60 samples uh, of slime to look at the genetic structure so to get the opportunity to take more samples in the same location at a different time of year was just too good to miss because the theory is that these sharks in this time of year are genetically different to the sharks in the spring so this is a fantastic way of exploring that and of course in addition to that kind of stock structure we can actually look at the gender of the shark 